Okay, in this session we're going to create a new banner and we're going to place it in a custom spot on the website. So where do I want to place my banner? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Google Analytics to do a little bit of research on the site and see what pages are getting the most traffic. So I'm just going to log into Google Analytics here and I'm going to pull up a profile of our site and I'm going to get all kinds of helpful statistics from Google Analytics. Specifically right now I want to see what pages on my site are getting the most traffic. So I'm going to drill down to content and then content by title. And here I find a list of the sites that are getting page views um, in, in order of views. So I can see here that term quotes is clearly getting the most traffic. So it makes sense to offer banner placement on the term quotes page of the site. Okay, if I pull that up here, um, we can see that uh, we've got some white space available under the life menu. And I know that this life menu right here is a module position, but to show again on how I'm going to identify module placement, I'm going to uh, refer back to um, my theme demo. And uh, I, I can see here again all of the different module positions. Now I know that. Uh, that area of the site is this left module position right here. I can also go into the module manager and I can uh, select position left and I can look to see here's that life menu and it's in the left module position along with a number of other uh, modules here. So that's a couple ways of identifying the this area of the site. And now I need to uh, know how to size my graphic. Okay, and uh, in the previous session I talked about using Firebug, a Firefox add-in. Okay, so I'm going to click my Firebug. I'm going to turn on my function here that will allow me to select parts of the site and I'm going to highlight this left area and click. Now what I'm interested in again is the layout tab right here that's going to tell me that this module is 220 pixels wide. The next thing I need to do is to create a graphic for the banner ad. So I'm going to go over here into Photoshop and I'm going to go File, New, and now I'm going to create a 220 pixel wide by 220 pixel high uh, graphic. So I'm going to a brand new graphic and I'm just going to do something very very basic. I'm going to uh, uh, create a uh, blue background and now I'm going to add a new layer and create uh, some text. Okay, and we'll change that uh, text layer to, uh, let's see, actually we'll just do it this way, nice yellow color. Call this sample banner add. Position that uh, nicely in the middle there and just to keep it from being uh, utterly and completely boring we'll do a layer style here and maybe add an inner shadow there we go so that looks nice and now I'm going to uh, take that graphic and I'm going to hit save for web and devices I'm going to put that in a uh, PNG format and save this graphic We'll call it sample 220 px. Take it down here. Okay, now that we've done that, we need to take that graphic and we need to upload it into the media manager. So I'm going to go down here and select the media manager. We're going to put this in our banners folder and sample 220 pics banner, open that up and start the upload. And there you see we've got our newly created banner graphic uploaded into the banners folder. Now we'll go and create the banner using the banner manager. These will be different sized banners placed in different positions um, and because of that we can't use the same category or Joomla will try to put the 220 pixel banner 
in the same module position as the 468 by 60 pixel top banner area and this this is because we're filtering uh, banners in the module position using the categories and uh, so we're going to need to create a separate category for our side banners so in order to do that I'm just going to create a new category and we'll call this category side banner and uh, yes it's going to be published it's public uh, we're going to leave all of the parameters uh, the same as the default and we'll simply save that next I'm going to uh, go to clients and I'm going to create a uh, totally new client related to these banners and I'm just going to call uh, our new client sample side banner and we'll just put me in there as the contact and now we're going to create the side banner so I'll select new and we'll call this sample side banner okay and uh, we are going to show the banner um, again we don't have many banners so I'm going to leave the defaults there on sticky but if you have a number of different banners and you wanted some banners to have priority over other banners you could select some to be sticky and then others to not be sticky we're just going to leave it blank we are going to uh, now select a category and this time we're going to choose side banner and then we'll select a client and we'll choose our sample side banners um, we're going to leave this blank right now and assume unlimited impressions purchased and then do a click URL which we'll just take back to the uh, home page and I don't have any custom banner code but I do want to put in my sample banner and there we have the graphic so I've created a new um, sample side banner and I'll save that so the next thing that we need to do is to create a module position for our side banner now we have a side banner but we need to tell Joomla that we want it placed on the left side and we want to be specific that it's going to show up on the term quotes page so to do that we're going to go to our module manager and um, we looked earlier at uh, the banners module and so we see we just have one right now we're going to create another one so I'll click new and we have all kinds of different modules that can we can create so I want to select banner and go to the next step and we're gonna call this side banner now um, here's where I get to choose my position and we we saw in the other banner that it was selected at the top position and we're gonna select the left position for this one and here's our order we can uh, select um, which order it's going to be so we'll stick it down here at the bottom this is going to be a public uh, access uh, module so uh, anybody who is using the website can see this banner and the other thing is we wanted to make it specific to the term quotes page because that's where a lot of the traffic is and that's that's premium real estate so we're going to go to select menu items from the list I'm going to scroll down here to the top menu and select term quotes right there. Okay, so that identifies where the module will show up, which in turn drives where the banner will show up. So let's take a look at the module parameters. We do want the uh, this banner to open up in a new window with browser navigation. We're going to leave count at one. And here's where we do the filtering. We're going to identify uh, the banner client as sample side banner and the category as side banners. And it's going to keep this module separate from the other module in terms of which banners it shows. We're going to uh, leave that as the default for randomize. We're going to leave, we're actually going to uh, change that to randomize so that way if we have multiple banners in this module position then they will show up at random uh, areas or in random orders and I'm going to go down here into uh, the module class suffix and this is uh, this is important because the template may have some formatting that's specific to that particular module position and, and we want to override that so I'm going to I'm going to hit dash none here in this module class suffix that way um, 
this module will override any formatting that's already there. Now we'll hit save and you'll see in as far as the mag, mo, module type banners we have two. We have our original one and then we have our side banners. And so now if we go to the term quotes and we refresh that screen we should suddenly see that a banner is there. And here it says side banner and I don't really like that it does that so I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to turn the show title off to no. So I'll hit apply and jump back out here, refresh my screen, and there we have a sample side banner. Okay, now I had created another uh, banner called another banner ad that I had previously uploaded to the media manager. And so I'm going to quickly create another banner and show you the randomize function. So let me uh, save out of that go back into the banner manager click new and we'll call this another side banner we want to select category side banners we'll collect the sample side banner client and we'll pick our another 220 px banner and there we have it if I hit save there now as I come over here and I continually refresh the screen our other banner will show up and this will happen randomly there we go another change okay there's a couple of things I want to point out here we've gotten a new module position we've created banners and now we have them showing up if I were to go back into my banner module and and I pick my side banners and select my count to two then I can have two banners show up so we'll come back in here and turn that on and so now we have two banners right there and since this module position is dynamic in other words it, it will grow larger the more I add I can add um, lots of different banners and change the count and have lots of them there and as we refresh they will randomly show the next thing that uh, I want to show you is that we can reorder the banners and if I want the banner up above the life menu I can reorder it right here and refresh and now I have my banner showing up above the life menu which is another module I can also look at that by going to the module manager and filtering for the left module position and I see my side banner is up here and my life banner is down there now if I take my side banner and I gradually move it down to underneath the life menu then again it's going to reposition the module so um, wanted to show you there how by ordering the different modules in a given module position you can change their placement so there you have it we've created new banners and new module positions from scratch